Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making a homemade red dot sight. So for this project, there's a few things you'll need. Nothing too expensive, but probably have to go to the store. Um, so first for your tools, uh, a little Dremel, potentially a little saw, but I only have a Dremel. Hot glue gun and some scissors. Then for the actual red dot sight, the main thing you're going to need is something that flips open like this, or that has a little window. And I got this for 49 cents. This was an old magnification loop. There was something on this side that I took off. You're also going to need your red dot sight, of course, a screw and bolt, some thin wire, potentially a paper clip, um, something like that. This is actually window tinting vinyl. Um, I got off eBay. Basically, it's just black vinyl. And you're gonna need some clear vinyl, but since I didn't have any, something like a Ziploc bag would work. And lastly, you're gonna need some popsicle sticks. So the first step, I already took off the other half. Used to have two hinges here of my little magnifying glass thing. But we want to make it flat, so I'm going to use my Dremel and slice off these two little knobs right here. And there you go, now it's nice and flat. Okay, so the next step of making our red dot sight is we're going to use our vinyl here and put it over the little window. So basically, um, you can measure it separately, or what I just do is place it over here like so, and then you, you want to make it the same size as basically the outer frame to give it something to stick to. Um, mark it here, and mark it down here. Then cut out the square and put it on. So as you can see, there's my vinyl applied to the window. Um, nice thing about using vinyl is you can just literally stick it on. And then on the other side here, it'll still be sticky to the touch. So try not to get anything on that, like little debris. And the next step, we're going to make our crosshairs using this wire stuff here. So basically what you do is just cut a piece out, just like this. And then first you're going to measure it, so I'll zoom in for you here so you can see what I'm doing. So basically first get your piece of wire, um, just measure it with your hand again. And of course you want to make it as central as possible. Now this is optional as a lot of red dot, dot sites do not have crosshairs at all. But I like the look of the red dot sight and the crosshair. So as you can see, I just accidentally cut that one a little big, but that's okay. Just take it off, trim some off, and uh, put it on. Actually, that is now a little too small for that way. So let's put this one this way, like that. And it will look kind of dumb until it finished because it obviously looks like two gold wires but through the black film you cannot tell they are gold so there's your crosshairs and now we'll move on to the next step I actually decided to redo the crosshairs because it was a little bent up top but basically there's the new crosshairs but the thing is is when you look from the back that's what it looks like so it's a little bent right there I'll fix that but you get the idea pretty cool now to secure the crosshairs in and prevent anything from sticking to the tape, all I did was do the same thing as the vinyl, cut a square of this uh, clear plastic Ziploc and put it on the other side of the stickiness so it's not sticky anymore. But I think vinyl would be preferred because as you can see there's a few air bubbles in this which doesn't make it too too bad but in certain lighting conditions you can see the air bubbles from this side of the site. Next to build the body of the site, the first step is to use two cut up pieces of popsicle sticks and we're going to place them just like that. Sorry. Easiest way to do this is probably put it down on the table or your floor and glue these two just like that to keep the hinge at a 90 degrees. And then we are going to ex extend the base by putting some popsicle sticks down with some hot glue around there and there. So when gluing the bottom supports onto your red dot sight, um, grab the nut 
from your nut and bolt combo. And if you're wondering, this here is actually going to be used to adjust the laser to adjust your sight. So um, the spacing of your two popsicle sticks should trap the nut in perfectly like that. So mine's gonna be just like that. And then I'm gonna secure the nut in place by just putting some hot glue around the perimeter of it. So there is what it should look like afterwards. I put another piece of popsicle stick there for support. And as you can see, I actually tilted the nut this way. Because what the idea here is now, if you screw in the bolt that goes in that uh, um, nut, it'll be like that. And then here you have your red dot sight, which we will affix to this in one second. But basically, as you can see with it sitting on there, it might be a little low. So just simply twist it off, which obviously raises the nut up. And then when you push the sight, it's a little higher. Twist it down. Oh, that loosened it more. It's higher again. So this is basically your, your sight adjuster. Nice little feature I thought I'd put in there. Okay, so the next step to attach a laser to the red dot sight. And as you can see, there's a big gap at the back. So we're going to have to use these little shims I made from popsicle sticks. So I'm gonna put one on the bottom for support and you can move them up and down as far as you want depending on how long your laser pointer is. But for my application, I'm gonna put my laser pointer right around here. So I'm gonna probably need one on the bottom and one, maybe two on the top and then either use some electrical tape or elastic to secure it in place, something flexible so that you can adjust it using these screw. So here I've attached my red dot sight. Um, I adjusted the screw prior to taping it down so that when you push the button on the laser, it's right in the middle of the crosshairs. But if you wanted to adjust it now, you still could just by fitting your fingers in there and just loosening or tightening it, which would hinge it down here like this and make it go up and down to adjust your sighting. I also hot glued it at the end because hot glue is actually relatively flexible so that's okay now to keep it on all the time since you don't want to have to be holding the button while shooting your gun or whatever um, we're going to use some alligator clips now this one's a little bit too small and the only size up i have with me right now is this one here which is actually probably a little bit too big but it's going to have to do for what we want so basically when you're ready to shoot you just literally put it on and if you prefer the look of these things down, put them down like that. And it's pretty much ready to go on your gun. The only thing is that the screw does hang below the base of the magnifying glass. Or used to be magnifying glass, I guess I should say. Um, so we're going to just make quickly out of a few um, popsicle sticks, some mounts that make it, uh, that'll go lower than the base of the screw. So it'll sit flat. So here I have put the base. I actually used two halves of a closed peg. As you can see, it wraps around it perfectly. And because the majority of the weight is in this area, it still sits perfectly flat, even without a support at the back right here. And depending on your gun or whatever your application is, the rails might actually fit nicely in here. You might have to do some custom work with some electrical tape to wrap it around even the barrel of your gun, whatever you want. But that is essentially your red dot sight. Um, it works pretty well, actually. You'd probably need a smaller, um, smaller thing. What are they called? Alligator clips. Because this one here is a little bit too small. But the smaller, the better. And elastic would work as well. I just find this easier to apply and take off. But ideally, you'd want something that doesn't get in the way of your line of sight, as you can see this one does. But if it sat down, way down here, it'd be okay. Because uh, the laser would be in the way. And if it goes off center, since it's only taped in place, you can just kinda push it back. And as you can see, it's perfectly lined up. And you can go aim at stuff. Just like that. And it's tinted so it works best outside, as you can see, the natural light lots it in enough light. But basically, there's the final product. Good for airsoft, paintball, or homemade inventions you see on my channel.
Um, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's obviously pretty crude, but I tried to keep the cost low because you can actually get these for pretty cheap at Canadian Tire or Walmart if you live in the States. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.